What's up, Variant Nation? Just a few hours ago, we wrapped up our first Whatnot Live show on our new collectibles drop shop and had a freaking blast giving away a ton of insane comics and collectibles to those of you who joined us, some of which are these things right here. Congrats to all the big winners who took home everything from signed Funko Pops to comics and these graded comic books. We were also supposed to air a New York Comic Con interview with Rob Liefeld during the live show, but due to some technical issues, we had to call an audible, and now we are dropping it here for you guys. It was a blast talking to Rob, as you'll see in a minute, and we've also got copies of his Whatnot exclusive Captain America 1 homage variant in the Buy It Now section of our Whatnot shop. So if you haven't already, use our invite link to sign up for a free Whatnot account, and by using our link, you'll get a $10 credit towards your purchase. We've got the trade dress and the Virgin cover for you to choose from, and or you can grab something else from our Buy It Now catalog. We've got a bunch of great limited edition items in there. And if you missed today's show, we've got another scheduled for next week, so make sure to bookmark that show after you use our link, follow Variant Comics, and get your free $10 credit. But now let's see what's up with the creator of Deadpool, Cable, Domino, and X-Force, Rob Liefeld. What's up, Variant Nation? We are here at New York Comic Con 2023 with the one the only Mr. Rob Liefeld, Woo! Deadpool, Domino, Cable, the list goes on and on. x Force, anyone? x Force, my voice even on. cracked. That's why I, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but Rob, yes. so, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. You too. You too. One of the big things we have here is it's a whatnot. You, 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 you have a, we love whatnot. You're doing a whatnot. What right? not? What the not? greatest live stream of all time. But one of your most famous covers from yes, yes, yes. Captain America, Heroes Were Born, iconic image. You allotted yourself, sir. Hey. Yeah, let's hear it for Cap, <laughs> all right? It actually was never a cover, it was just a promo, right. but people went nuts over it. Uh, and so, yeah, so the good guys at whatnot called me up and said, Rob, would you do an homage to this? And I said, you know, it's been at least two decades. The, the time is right. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna tell you, we, we, we had no idea the response. My son, the, the, my, my amazing son, Chase Leibold, called me up the day we announced it. He said, Dad, your tweet has three million impressions. I said, get out of here. <laughs> I said, Dad, that has three million? I'm like, what? And, and this is what you're talking about right here. Yeah, we're up. The, the, these are our exclusives. We are almost out of them. I, we, we are going to blow out of these before the end of the show. They have been a, a, a pretty um, popular item here. But yeah, no kudos uh, to Jack and whatnot for, for calling me up and saying, Rob, would you do this? I was, I was actually getting on a plane and going to France. I'm sitting in the airport and I'm like, I'll do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's so, awesome. So I'm just really happy. So it, it, it's fun that the, the response to this has been so great. Right. With the awesome thing, your tweet. Oh yes. gosh, right? Where it's yes, like, yes. I have to get something off my chest. Yes, like, that yes. Is, thank you. I thank love you. that you play it. You play just, it up. It's like, it works so well. I was ready. I was Everyone ready. was so excited, which is probably why I got so well, excited. Uh, look, you know, here's, here's the bottom line. When we did Heroes and Born with Captain America and Avengers, what people don't know, and I didn't know until the opening of the Avengers movie in 2012, because a comic book historian, the guy who crunched his numbers, said, did you know that Rob Liefeld's Avengers number one in 1996 is the best-selling Avengers of all time? And he tracked all of them and gave his data. And like, <laughs> people don't understand, that brought a whole new generation. One of the Marvel execs said to me, Rob, this is where the turnaround, the, the, the road that we marched to the MCU started, because they came to us and they said, <laughs> Captain America, Avengers, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, they said to Jim Lee I, they, they are our lowest selling books now. X-Men and Spider-Man, you know, are on top of, we want to get the original, the launch mm -hmm. titles from, from Stan, from Jack, Joe Simon, Jack Kirby. We want those back in the, you know, in the upper echelons of comic book sales. And so they packed it with us. And you gotta understand, I hear all the time from kids who were 10, 8, 12, 13, and now obviously, you know, 28 years later, they're, they're I'm seeing them at my table at 30, at 40, right, and right. they're bringing their kids, and they're like, this is where I jumped on. This is where I got to, you know, interact with Captain America, with Avengers, right. uh, Fantastic Four. I mean, all of those books were in the 20,000s back yeah. then. And these books launched at like 400,000. We expanded. And that's, and guess what? To your audience, we didn't have 40 covers, okay? <laughs> Every book had two. That's right. That's it, only two covers. So they had to carry all the weight. All so, the so, so we, we, it's, it's just, so the, that's why the I think the uh, response has been because it really hits. Uh, we all love our childhoods. I love my childhood. So I will fight anybody sure. over the seventies all the time, and I'm <laughs> that our fans will do the same for the nineties. For sure, for sure. Now you're doing a lot. 
I am. Right. Yeah, Deadpool. Yeah. Bad or Blood. Deadpool, Bad or Blood. about to wrap up. Wraps up next week. Next week. Next October 18th is when it comes out. Yeah. All right, right. So what can you tease? What can you say? What do you want to say? Let our audience know. Uh, so Deadpool, Bad or Blood, number five. Uh, Deadpool, Wolverine, Venompool, and Spider-Man join with Cable to defeat our, our, our dark enemies that have amassed. I, I, I wanted to create a bunch of new... Uh, Nemesis, Super Villains, Rogues Gallery for Deadpool, and by the time you're done with five, uh, issue five, I think we've 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 added seven new kind of Nemesis. Right. Uh, there's a twist. I, I I've done a little misdirection uh, through the issue, but you'll see it all comes together in the last couple pages. Well, in the first couple pages, you'll see what the mission of the bad guys was about, and then we give a nice twist. But look, here's the deal. Some of my favorite McCom books growing up were Marvel Team Up, Marvel Two and One. Yeah, yeah. You had a different team up. Uh, that each and every month, and, and I really tried to give that same flavor because those books that came out, that's Chris Claremont and John Byrne yeah, rocking yeah. it on, on Marvel Team Up, and I just ate that stuff up. So I wanted to give that same energy. So when you see Dead Boy and Venom Pool and, and, and Wolverine and Cable and Spider Man joining the battle, it's got that Marvel Team Up energy. So uh, the response has been great. Marvel has been great. Uh, just, I'm so excited. We, we've been selling out, uh, and it's, 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 it's really exciting so we wrap it all up so be there for the fifth issue now like i said very busy man you were pumping out yeah. stuff all yeah, yeah, the time yeah. you announced some books here yeah, actually for yes. next year we're coming back with major x right uh we're continuing that uh that 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 first mini series his introduction was just a start and now you're going to see his furthering of his mission but that will connect with the series that comes first which is cable first contact and i have always 25 years ago one of the last storylines that i left you know, because I left, I left several back uh, behind me when I when I went on to pursue Image Comics. Right. Was uh, a story that concerned Cable in the original five, 1963 X-Men. Right. So Cyclops, Iceman, Beast, Jean Grey, and and, uh, and Angel. Angel, yes. So 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 this uh, shows you how Cable interacted with them, and they knew Cable, another new villain, crashes the party. That's really so cool. It, in, the entire story takes place in 1968. 1964, because we're uh, right now we're closing up the 30th anniversary of the X-Men. Uh, sure, this will happen in 2024, so it'll be the 31st anniversary. But I just I love those original X-Men and seeing them. There, there's a sequence early on. There's a sequence in there early on where Cable throws one of his futuristic guns into Angel's hands, and it's like, come on, this is this is as a fanboy. I love but here's the deal. I, I love that you touch on the fact. Look, I am writing and 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 creating and producing monthly work. Uh, all total Deadpool, yep. about 130 pages. Uh, then in November, there's Deadpool Seven Slaughters. I have a 10 page story in that that has a character that I'm revisiting that I'm not going to spoil. You got uh, to, all right. It's, it's a character I didn't get enough time with that I introduced in 2004. We expand her. So you're getting uh, to like revisit yeah, things. I'm just having, want. I just love telling stories. My family comes to me all the time and they say, Why are you still making comics? What is wrong with you? <laughs> like, Dad. And I'm like, I have the fever. I got the fever. Superhero fatigue, Lord. I wanted to touch on that. You're one of the icons yeah. in the industry, you know, co-founder Image Comics. Yes, yes. Everything we've been talking about, Deadpool Cable. The awesome. very first Image Comics ever published. Yeah, yes. Blood. Boom. Yes, there you go. We I was alone for three months because everyone else was scared. That's the truth. I can't go. <laughs> but so, I, was, I was the little, I was the experimental, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> and, and look. Fearless. Fearless. 23 and fearless. No okay, risk, no reward. That's right. That's, right. That's right. So, do you think it's Superhero fatigue? is a thing with movies and TV, but then I would also like to hear your thoughts on comic books. No, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, uh, I think comic books are exciting. Okay. I'll take a good comic over a movie every day and twice on Tuesdays. <laughs> I love comic books. The movies, here's what I think. Okay. I think there's superhero fatigue over the same old stuff. Same old stuff. Let me tell you something. We go back and you look at um, Deadpool. Right. R-rated. Right. Something different. Okay. Not now. Now the Marvel with you, MCU was trucking. They were doing their thing, but there was a different flavor. It was hardcore. It was R-rated. It was it was uh, you know more sexual content, more cursing, everything you get. You know, and then obviously the violence. And okay. people went, wait, what? Okay, okay do that. A little sixteen million dollar movie made eight hundred million dollars. Okay, and then some on home video and all that. But but just just crushed it. Right. Uh, I think the the comic the movies that are coming out are not daring, they are safe, 
Right. They are not. They are not pushing the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Everything, even end game. It was the first time we'd seen anything on that scale. They were pushing the boundaries. Right. Deadpool one and two pushing the boundaries. Logan took Wolverine into R-rated space, pushed the boundaries. Right. Everyone's gotten safe. The, everything has gotten safe. And 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 my so my son, I took him to Iron Man, number one, 2008. He was eight. End game, he was 18. Yeah. He grew along. I tell people all the time. By the time I was that age. I had grown out of Star Wars. I was into Robocop, Total Recall, Predator, Die Hard, Lethal Weapon. Um, all of the R-rated R-rated movies mm -hmm. were what I was now drawn to because it, you, uh, you grow up and you want something more mature, more adult. So, you know, we put out uh, the same guys that worked on Deadpool are working with me on a movie version of Blood Strike, which is a comic book that launched in 1999. We released the footage here on Thursday. It blew up. Uh, Phil J. Silvera worked on Deadpool 1. He worked on Daredevil 1 and 2, the hallway battles. Right, right, he right. Cor he, choreographed, he was a stunt coordinator, second unit director for all that stuff. He came in and said, Rob, I want to bring Blood Strike from 1993 to life. Uh -oh. We brought it, and I'm telling you, it's the most R-rated one minute. It, it's a longer, I, I, I've seen the whole two plus minutes, the scene that he made, but we wanted to put out a teaser for this show. Oh. And I'm going to tell you, my, my, my friend, the response was through the roof because it's, gory but it's got his great action choreography um but we only gave you a glimpse of what's to come because we are going to push the envelope again right. because you just look and you go everything's gotten safe okay so when as i bring my extreme titles profit and 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 blood strike to scream Man. they're going to be all rated they're going to be more dangerous because right. they have to be they have to be speaking since we're talking about movies right you got ryan reynolds right played yeah. deadpool first two films now the way things are shaking up He's going into the MCU with Deadpool 3 and Hugh Jackman is... Sure, sure, sure. Right, right. That's what's well, we've seen, we've, we've seen the footage. Okay. We've seen the footage. Right, right. I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's there. Oh, it's, it's there. there. Okay, it's there. So he's going into the MCU. So that's got to be... One, I want to know. Yeah, I was out for you. It's like, because it was a very extremely successful on its own. But now you're going into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is a beast in itself. Okay. So... Yeah. So that and so it's a tuber. So that and then now he's in the MCU. Who do you want Ryan Reynolds Deadpool to interact with? in the MCU. Oh, no, Who'd for sure. So for sure, obviously, the number one was to have Wolverine with Hugh. Okay. And and they knew it. They're smart. Mm -hmm. they, they knew that that's what the fans wanted. Um, and, and and I just think, I think people are going to flip out. <laughs> <laughs> flip out. Uh, I mean, honestly, honest to God, I was fortunate enough to be there in London before the strike while they were filming. Right, right. And now, like, uh, the, all the rap, all the tape around my mouth. That's all I can say about that because I want to be, I want to honor the work they're doing. Okay, no, no, no. That's okay, it. that's it. But it's brilliant. Okay, it's just. But but then after I came home, obviously you started seeing, you know, because they they went outside, they went out the sound studio, right, right. and like director Sean Levy said, I mean, there's some stuff you want to protect, but they had to get outside. So that's how they. So that's how we saw those great images, right, and you right. could then see like the fans are ready. But beyond what's going on there, I ain't right. I want to see. Uh, no. Deadpool and, and the Hulk. Okay? Because cause, cause that's the original Stan and Jack. You know, Hulk smashed Deadpool and Hulk have tangled so often. Oh, man. And, and remember how Hulk handled Loki and Avengers? Oh, boom, boom. Man. I mean, but again, now you got a guy who you're not going to break. You can kill him. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean, as far as a fan, that would be probably um, Hulk and Deadpool would do something that I would, my mind would explode. And, and his advancer would be amazing. Yes, like yes. Ryan Randall yes. Stewart is that. But just, uh, I mean, I'm looking, I'm looking, uh, one second. I'm looking right here, okay? I'm looking right here. And so, I mean, come on, don't we want to uh, see that? Come, don't we want to see that? Dude, I De want it. Deadpool and Hulk, oh my come God. on. That's what I want to see. Like, that's I want to see. I so see. That's my answer. That's my answer. I want them to beat the crap out of each other and then team up. Oh my gosh, it would be so <laughs> fun. It would be so fun. So, I know you can't say a dang word, but I will I can't say, say a dang can't word. can't say nothing, but I'm going to say it. We want the cowl. It's probably coming. We got the yellow blue. The, the Wolverine cowl's got to come. But he probably knows it. He can't say a dang here's thing. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> and the, 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 here's when people go, oh, I read, because I, I love reading yeah. about myself. It's the funniest thing. Yeah. Because I have three kids now. Yeah. And they get the, they go, dad, it says you were told not to talk. But the, and I read these. Life out in silence. No, I'm choosing to protect <laughs> the movie. Right, right. I read it. There's headlines every day, and I just go, I can't comment on whether that is bullshit or true, but, I mean... It's got to be fun. How no, many no. rumors are there going to be about Deadpool 3? I mean, like, every day I'm like, oh, oh, there's a new one, and a new... I mean, I think some people are just, they're like, hey, no one's printed this, let's make this up. Because I just go, oh, boy, and I've seen Sean maybe respond to it. He's like, 
I think when you say like, I'd love to tell you that some of that stuff is, I mean, his interviews are great. Sean yeah, yeah. is so good. I'm so looking forward to it. And so it's going to be fun. We're going to start wrapping up here. I got one final question yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you, because this is a big thing going on right now. Okay. Talking to sure, you know, sure. artists, a storyteller sure, sure, like sure. yourself. AI is a huge thing right yeah, now. Yeah. Obviously, Deadpool 3 got stopped because of the strike and all that stuff. Thankfully, they're starting to work things out, you know, and we're going to hopefully still get yeah, Deadpool next yeah, year. Yeah. But as far as AI is concerned, as a creator, as a storyteller, what are your two cents on that? Like, how do you feel like that's sure. really going to impact comments? Sure. You can go into an app, yeah. have someone say Deadpool holding, like, whatever, right, and it just right. draws it. Like, how, how do you feel about so, it coming from, like, well, okay, the first thing I want to say is I stand with the actors. I stand with the writers. Uh, the writers were bold all summer. My heart went out to them. Five months on strike. Right. They really sacrificed. Same with the actors. Stay strong. We support you. Uh, but as far as the application, and, and, and part of the AI is a concern to both those parties. Right. But no, I've seen it. Like last November, it really blew up. I may or may not have been at a uh, Rams game in SoFi Stadium uh, in between playing with the app myself, <laughs> putting my own characters in, seeing what it would come out as. Right. I've never shared them because I, I just, you can experiment on your own, right? For sure, for sure. Um, and I got to tell you, they all, I think, um, they're admirable and they're getting better. Mm -hmm. But I, I just, I feel like we as the community like the authentic and organic uh, appeal of what we do with our hands and minds. Okay. And and I just I just haven't seen an AI that is better than any anything in this room yet. Okay. And this is the biggest artist alley in the world, right? Right. And uh and and I can go to like a computer can only simulate. I have not seen it advance beyond what my favorite artists are capable of. Right. And you know I Mark so so I I, I think I can say share this. Mark Silvestri, uh, a god of illustration, a god tier creator, my my former uh, my former partner, fellow co-founder of Image Comics. Yep. We had talked last, last January about it as we were in a room waiting to go on and celebrate the 60th anniversary. And and Mark said, you know, he is concerned about the guys coming up, but because they haven't made a name for themselves, but certainly all of us who have established styles and established, um, you know, uh, uh, reputations and, and success of what we do, I mean, I don't think we're threatened by it. Right. But yeah, for them... Yeah, and, and here's the thing, I'm not sure that there's not some state-of-the-art guy who's going to use AI to enhance his own work. Yeah. So so I just don't know what's out there, but what I've seen as of this interview, right? Uh, you're not topping this room. Everybody gets a little close. Before we wrap this up, I want to mention, I want you to just kind of go through it one more sure, time. Sure. So you got new titles coming next year. We got this right here. Can we grab that real quick? Yes, yes. This, this just dropped. The, 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 uh, the absolute... Uh, that this has been such a big book for us. Thank you, whatnot, for calling me up and saying, Rob, would you do this? And I said, the time is right. The time is right. Time is absolutely right. Get and, it uh, while you can. I just feel like, I feel like, you know, we're, we're going to sell out here, and that's fine. Uh, we'll have some in the digital space afterwards. But it, 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 did what it, it did what it needed to do. It It got the buzz. It got the right. excitement. Uh, I've got Deadpool, Batter Blood, five wrapping up. Then it'll be collected. That's why I do this. I want to keep putting books on the shelves. And we want them. We want them. Uh, Deadpool, <laughs> Seven Slaughters. I have a 10-page story that I think everyone's going to like. I, I'm not showing anything from it uh, that, that will reveal what I did. I want it to be a secret. Uh, cable, First Contact. And then the last thing I'll leave you with, I have a book coming out next with all my extreme characters. It's called The Last Blood. And I think people are going to want to pay attention to it. Uh, I, have, I, I see so many fans here who grew up on my extreme comics, my image stuff, and they re have been really wanting me to do something definitive with it, and, and that's coming. It's coming. Well, Rob, Rob Liefeld, do I need to say, I'm going to say it anyway, Deadpool, you. you know, x Force, Cable, Cinco Cable Domino. Domino, it goes on and on, but overall, a nice guy. Thank you. Rob Liefeld, thank you so thank much. You bet.